this is a Nintendo 3DS. And this thing is really an important object that kind of made me become who I am right now. The situations I had related to this device made me both an enthusiastic Pokemon trainer and a mature college student dreaming for a job I want. I got a Game Boy Color, one of the earliest versions of Nintendo mobile game device, when I was about 4. The device was yellow, so I was recommended by the shop owner to buy Pokemon Yellow, because obviously my device was yellow, and Pokemon Yellow was one of the first generation Pokemon games. I was so into this game, and I completed the game in about a month, and during the time I was fully dedicated to training Pokemons, competing against other Pokemon trainers, catching more Pokemons, training a lot of Pokemons, and so on. I recall playing excessively after having the game, but the parents weren't that worried because I was just this young kid. At the age of 8, I got another device from my cousin, which was a Game Boy Advance. I played Pokemon Emerald, which was the third generation of Pokemon. I was again so obsessed with the game, but I didn't notice that my grades in elementary school were extremely poor. Parents were starting to get worried because of my grades and my addiction to Pokemon, but they didn't stop me from playing it. I took my Game Boy everywhere my parents were going, never losing my vision towards the screen. One day, I was told by my mom that I was losing eye focus, and it seemed that I wasn't paying attention to any of the words my mom was telling me. I was kind of concerned about myself after I heard that, but that didn't stop me from completing the game. So two years later, I brought my device to a swimming pool where I took swimming lessons with my friends. I wanted to show off that I have legendary Pokemons and I didn't expect that day was a turning point of my life. After I finished swimming, I ran to my locker to get my device and I found that the device wasn't there. I asked almost every people around the pool, but no one saw it. I was so afraid because, you know, for a 12 year old kid, losing a $200 device was a huge burden. And at the end, I decided to call my parents, crying a lot. I came back to my house and my parents were sitting on the table. Unlike my expectations, they didn't shout, instead, they gave me a warm hug which made me cry a lot again. They said, this is a good sign. We are so worried that you'll be addicted to this game forever. However, they did want me to confess what I have done wrong. I told them playing games too much and my parents then asked, then what will you do from now on? I replied, stopping games forever. From that point, I woke up from my virtual fantasy, and my grades started to get better and better during my 6th grade, and I started to get interested in science books and films, which made me become a huge fan of movies. And after I got accepted to Carnegie Mellon, my parents decided to buy me a gift, and I opened the wrapper, and there was a blue Nintendo 3DS with a Pokemon Y chip inserted in the device. Well. I did play a bit of Pokemon, but not as much as I used to. 